In this video, we'll give a full review of the U.S. Bank Shopper Cash Rewards Visa Signature Card, which could be one of the best credit cards to use for shopping, depending on your credit card setup and spending habits, as it earns a whopping 6% cash back in its highest tier. What's even better is depending on the stores you use it for, you could get that 6% cash back on grocery shopping, gifts for important events and holidays, and retail shopping in general. Please note, I'm not a financial advisor or accountant, and this video is for general educational purposes only. No official financial advice is being given. Feel free to pause the video to read the disclaimer or find the full disclaimer in the video description below. Let's first take a look at how this card works and the cashback it can earn. This card earns 6% cashback on your purchases at two retailers you can select from their set list. There is a quarterly spend cap for the 6% cashback though, which is $1,500 in combined eligible purchases between the two retailers you pick. If you exceed the cap, you'll then earn 1.5% cashback at those two retailers for the rest of the quarter. It's important to keep in mind that this card does come with a $95 annual fee, but as we'll see shortly, this card can be well worth that fee. You have a list of more than 20 retailers to choose from, which includes superstores like Walmart and Target, as well as popular retailers like Amazon.com, Apple, Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ikea, Kohl's, and Macy's. You'll also earn 3% cashback on your choice of one everyday category, again on your first $1,500 in eligible purchases each quarter. After exceeding the cap for the everyday category, you'll then earn 1.5% cashback in that category for the rest of the quarter. The choices for the everyday category are wholesale clubs, gas and EV charging stations, or bills and utilities. You'll also earn 1.5% cashback on all other eligible purchases, which makes this a decent catch-all card if you don't have a better one offering 2% cashback or more. Keep in mind, you do need to enroll every quarter in the two retailers and one everyday purchase category of your choice. Otherwise, you'll only earn the basic 1.5% cashback on those purchases. You'll also earn 5.5% cashback on prepaid car and hotel reservations booked directly through U.S. Bank's Rewards Travel Center. You can redeem your rewards for cashback as a statement credit, a rewards card, merchant gift cards, or a direct deposit into your U.S. Bank checking or savings account if you have one, and your rewards will not expire as long as your account's open. The easiest option for most people would be that statement credit going directly back onto your card. Bear in mind though that the minimum redemption option for your rewards is $25, so you'll have to wait to redeem them until you hit that threshold. What stands out the most about this card is the versatility for earning that 6% cashback. If you pick retailers like Walmart, Target, or Amazon, and you buy your groceries, household items, and holiday gifts there, or you do your general retail shopping there for clothes, shoes, furniture, and so on, and you spend an average of $500 a month across those categories at those stores, you can easily max out your cashback every quarter. What's even better is you can change your stores of choice once a quarter. So if you shop mostly at Walmart and Target throughout quarter three, but then shop more at Walmart and Amazon.com in quarter four around Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you can change your retailers accordingly to ensure you're earning as much cash back as possible. If you spend up to the quarterly spend cap of $1,500 for the 6% cash back at the two retailers, which is about $500 a month, you can earn up to $90 in cash back per quarter at those retailers, or about $30 a month, which works out to $360 a year in cash back. Since many people like to do their grocery and household shopping at stores like Walmart and Target, this is a super practical card that many people can max out their cash back on. They also have a sign up bonus right now. You can earn a $250 bonus when you spend $2,000 in eligible purchases in the first 120 days of account opening. The spend amount is a bit high for the amount of the bonus, but with its elevated long-term cashback rewards, it's still pretty decent. With about four months to hit that $2,000 threshold, you'll need to spend about $500 a month on the card to get that bonus, which is basically how much you'd spend anyway if you're maxing out your 6% cashback. With the holiday season coming up, it shouldn't be too difficult to hit that bonus between shopping for groceries and gifts for the holidays. As we mentioned earlier, this card has an annual fee of $95, but they're currently waiving the fee for your first year with the card. Even after paying the annual fee, if you're maxing out your 6% cashback every quarter, which isn't very hard to do if you pick stores like Walmart and Target and do most of your shopping there, you can still net $265 in cashback every year with this card which works out to a cashback percentage of about 4.4% after the annual fee is taken out. There isn't a 0% injury PR for this card at the moment, but that's not really that big of a deal. 
At the moment, the variable APR for purchases and balance transfers is 19.74% to 29.74% based on your credit worthiness. Keep in mind this card has a foreign transaction fee of 3%. There is a balance transfer fee, which is 3% of the amount of each transfer, and the minimum balance transfer fee is $5. Of course, it's best to avoid balance transfers if you can. This card has a number of pros. First off, getting 6% cash back is an awesome rate, especially at two different stores. Plus, you can pick the retailers yourself and change them once per quarter. The $250 sign-up bonus for this card is also pretty decent, though the spend amount is a bit high at $2,000, and the annual fee being waived for the first year is a nice added bonus as well. The 3% cashback on a category of your choice can definitely come in handy as well, especially for the bills and utilities category. The cashback rate of 1.5% for all other purchases isn't bad either, as many credit cards on the market only offer 1% cashback for their lowest tier. Of course, this card does have a few cons. The biggest downside of this card is definitely that annual fee of $95, as it's a pretty high fee for the cashback rewards being offered. This is especially true since there's a pretty low spend cap for the 6% back of $1,500 per quarter, which is another main downside to the card. You'll want to switch to a second card that offers decent cash back for purchases at those stores once you hit the spend cap. Otherwise, you'll only get that 1.5% cash back on those purchases for the rest of the quarter. It's also unfortunate that you have to remember to enroll every quarter in the two retailers and one everyday purchase category of your choice. Otherwise, you won't earn the elevated cash back. It'd be more ideal if you could just set it and forget it like you can with some other cards out there. Another minor con is that foreign transaction fee of 3% and the fact that you can only redeem your rewards once you hit the $25 threshold. The best way to see if the US Bank Shopper Cash Rewards card is a good fit for you is to take a look at which stores you shop at generally that are eligible for the 6% back, how much you spend on average each month at those stores, and which of those stores you can already get high cash back from with other cards in your setup. The 3% back on everyday categories is a nice bonus, but I wouldn't pick this card just for that benefit. In general, this card is the best fit for people that usually shop at certain stores frequently for groceries and household shopping, places like Target, Walmart, and Amazon, or general retail shopping at other stores on the set list, and spend around $500 a month between those stores. This card also makes life easy for people that don't want a rotating category card and instead want a card that offers consistent high cash back on retailers they can customize from time to time, and for people that don't want to apply for and maintain a bunch of different store cards, which oftentimes can only be used at the store in question and result in an inquiry each time you apply. If you're spending well under $500 a month between those two set stores you shop at most that aren't earning high cash back already, then it's probably a better option to go for the store card depending on what they offer. For example, if you're only spending $100 or $200 a month across those stores, the cash back you earn likely won't be worth it after the $95 annual fee compared to other cards out there. On the other hand, if you're spending well over $500 a month, say $1,000 a month between your two stores of choice, and you don't switch to using another card once you hit their $1,500 quarterly spend cap, your effective cashback rate will be much lower than that 4.4% you earn after the fee, so the store card may offer you a better rate. Of course, if you do switch to another card when you're about to go over the cap though, the US bank card could be worth it, but it'll be more work for you to track your spending to avoid exceeding the cap. Let's take a look at how the US Bank Shopper Cash Rewards card compares to some of its main competitors. Keep in mind the sweet spot for the US Bank card is spending close to the quarterly spend cap of $1,500, or about $500 a month, between your two retailers. We'll focus on some of the more popular stores to pick for the 6% cashback. For Walmart, the Capital One Walmart Rewards MasterCard has no annual fee and earns you 5% cashback for online purchases at walmart.com or their app and 2% cashback on in-store purchases at Walmart. So if you mainly shop online at Walmart, not in-store, then the Walmart card could be a better fit for you. But if you shop in-store at Walmart more, then the US Bank card may be a better option. For Amazon purchases, the Amazon Prime Rewards Visa Signature Card could be a good option if you're a Prime member, as there's no annual fee, and with Prime membership, you'll earn 5% cashback on your Amazon.com purchases, as well as online or in-store purchases at Amazon Fresh and Whole Foods Market. If you're not a Prime member though, then the US Bank Card would be a better pick. 
As for Target, the Target store card is much better than many other store cards, as you can pick their Target red card credit card or the red card debit card or reloadable card. And all three options offer a 5% discount when you shop at Target both online and in store. So while you could use the US bank card for Target, it's probably better overall to go with the debit or reloadable card. That way you can focus on other stores for the US bank card, especially since it won't hurt your credit. With other retailers on the list, whether the US bank card is worth it will depend on if the retailer offers cashback or discounts if you use the store card, how much is offered, and whether there's an annual fee. For example, if you shop at Kohl's pretty frequently for clothes and shoes, you may want to opt for the Kohl's card as there's no annual fee and they have tons of sales where card members can get a way bigger discount on their merchandise than non-card members. A lot of times these are 30% to 40% discounts for card members, compared to their regular sales which usually range from 10% to 30% off. So for stores like Kohl's, if you're shopping there pretty often, it may be better to go with their store card over the US bank card. As for the 3% cashback tier on your everyday category of choice for the US bank card, the more popular store cards to compare this with would be for wholesale clubs, if you select that for your category. Again, you can keep that everyday category spend cap of $1,500 for the 3% cashback in mind as well. What's great is that with the US bank card, you'll get the cashback across any wholesale clubs you go to, including in-store and online at Costco, since the card is a Visa. For Costco, the Costco Anywhere Visa card by City has no annual fee if you're a Costco member, but you'll only earn 2% cashback on purchases online or in-store at Costco, which is the same amount you'll earn for many catch-all cards on the market. So in this case, the US Bank card would probably be a better option. For Sam's Club, the Sam's Club MasterCard has no annual fee and offers cashback based on your membership tier. If you pick the $50 a year tier, you'll earn 3% back in-store at Sam's Club and just 1% back online at samsclub.com. If you have the $110 a year tier, you'll instead get 5% cash back in-store at Sam's Club and 3% back for online orders on their site. So if you already have the higher membership tier, then the Sam's card would give you a better cash back rate. But if you have the lower tier, the US bank card would give you a better rate up to the spend cap. If I were to get this card, I'd opt for Walmart for my first pick and Target for my second one as my regular selection, since I tend to do most of my grocery and household shopping at these stores, and I don't do all that much retail shopping. With a Target red card debit card or reloadable card on my setup though, which both offer the 5% discount for online and in-store purchases at Target without a hit to your credit score, I'd pick Amazon.com over Target for my second store. When quarter four comes around, I might switch my second store to Best Buy for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, or if I'm planning on moving and furnishing my new place, I might switch that one to Ikea. Or for a home renovation, perhaps I'd switch my second retailer to Lowe's or Home Depot. Of course, since I also have the Chase and Discover rotating category cards, I might also switch things up if Walmart, Target, or PayPal is featured one quarter on the cashback calendar of one of those cards, since I'd earn 5% cashback on purchases in those featured categories up to the quarterly spend cap of $1,500 for those cards. For example, right now the Discover It cashback card's my card of choice for 5% cashback on Target purchases. As for the 3% back on the everyday category, I personally would probably pick the bills and utilities category, since it isn't a very common category to earn higher cash back on, and I'm not a member of a wholesale club at the moment. But if I were to be spending more on wholesale club purchases than bills and utilities, of course I'd pick that instead. Many credit cards on the market offer at least 3% cash back on gas, so I personally wouldn't pick that for my category with my current setup. The US Bank Shopper Cash Rewards Visa Signature Card can be a great fit for you depending on your spending habits. The 6% cashback you'll earn can absolutely make it worth the $95 annual fee if you're maxing out your cashback and spending strategically. Before applying for this card, make sure you check out the most up-to-date offer, especially for the sign-up bonus. Let me know in the comments. Do you think this card's worth a $95 annual fee? If you have this card or you're thinking of getting it, which two retailers would you pick for the 6% cashback? If you enjoyed this video, you may be interested in this next video, where we go over the best catch-all cards for your miscellaneous purchases, which can earn 1.5% to 3% cashback on your purchases, no matter the category. If you want to learn more, you can check out that video next. If this video was helpful, it'd be a huge help if you could click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps get our videos out to more people to help them save money, and it's totally free. If you want to be notified when we post new videos, make sure you also click the bell to enable notifications. Thanks for watching and see you next time.